All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Dunwall City Trials. Now, with these next three here, um, I'm actually going to do a three part video. Uh, and that will be uh, pretty much uh, collecting the doll and then restarting and doing the entire thing. Or doing the entire thing, restarting, then collecting the doll. Um, yeah, actually, I, I think I'm going to do the first one is collect the doll, then restart, and then do it. And then uh, I'm going to uh, stop the video, uh, look at uh, uh, IGN walkthroughs uh, video here of the doll locations uh, for Train Runner, do the exact same thing, and then... Once I get done with that, restart the video, or restart the, uh, uh, um, well, then I'll, uh, come back, I'll do Train Runner, I'll go for Emily's Doll, and then I'll go through and finish the challenge, and then, after that, I'll do the same thing, stop the video, find out where the doll is, and then restart the video, go into Kill Cascade, and then go for the doll, restart, and then go through um well actually with uh kill cascade i don't have to do that uh but with bonfires i may um i'm going to give it a try so let's go <sighs> learn the area and make your own routes can't die from fall damage okay now the best part about this one is uh, you have to go for the first two. Uh, touch as many beams of light as possible before time runs out. Uh, touch the beams of light that appear randomly. Each beam of light that you reach will extend the countdown. Uh, blink and agility are best tools for the challenge. If you fall into the void, you restart at the last beam you reached. No fall damage. Mana refills quickly. Uh... Each red beam raises your score, including a bonus for reaching the next quickly. Some tricky jumps will give you a score bonus when performed. Challenge is over when the timer reaches zero. Which pretty much means that, uh... Yeah, you keep moving. No matter what, you keep moving. Okay. So touch the beams of light that appear randomly. Uh, each beam that you reach will extend the countdown time. Okay. Now. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. Nope. And then I fall off. Okay. Now. Okay, let's hope I have enough time for this. Okay, I at least got to Emily's doll. Nope, okay. Alright, so I had to restart no matter what. Okay. I only got 2,000 points. Okay. So, let's go ahead and replay that challenge and play it good. Okay. 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 
go. extent of my power that one sucked all right so I got a better score at least so yeah each red light is apparently uh, 1,000 points so in order to get three stars you need 30 red lights and yeah the quicker you get to them the better your score so yeah anyways there's that one so now i'm going to stop real quick uh get everything set up for the next one and find out where the next one uh is located and uh yeah this next one just based on where i i, I i'm thinking it's at uh just based on where i'm thinking it's at it, I, i'm definitely gonna have to restart uh, so yeah, so I'll be right back. All right, so found out where it is and let's go for train runner. Now I am going to have to uh, uh, restart this one um, because it could be a very, very, very close call. Now I will... Uh, try to get back on track but I, I, I'm not sure if I actually will okay so reach the finish line as fast as possible uh, mobility powers like blink and agility are best uh, start with a full mana bar uh, faster you reach the end higher your score meaning health and mana at the end earn you bonus points and challenge is over if you die or fall into the void yep doll. Now, let's see if I can reach the end. Eighteen five oh three. It's a one star. That's good. All right. So there's that one. Okay. So there's that one done and beat. And that was actually a lot. Uh, that was actually a lot easier than the way. Uh, IGN walkthroughs um, made it sound. So, yeah. And with this one, I, I think I'm going to be able to do it uh, the same way, all in one uh, video piece. <sighs> Let's hope I can. Um, I haven't unlocked any of the experts, so that's good. Eh, or bad. I don't care. And to be honest, I, I probably could uh, do this one faster, but uh, yeah, I, I don't want to right now. So anyways, I'm going to uh, stop here again and I'll be right back. All right. And finally, Kill Cascade. Whew. Ah, oh, man. 
Okay, so from the looks of it, it is uh, right at the very end. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah. It's right at the very end. So pretty much, oh, zero's on, nice. This is the one actual part that I don't like about being on the 360 is the notifications showing that people are online. But I know I can turn that off, but then the achievements go off as well. So, okay, so perform drop assassinations as you try to reach the final platform as fast as possible. Enemies are marked by a beam of light. In order to score higher drops or go faster... Uh, in order to score higher drops or go faster, you can leave the marked path. If you fall into the void, you restart at the platform. Last many enemy you killed, don't take fall damage. Higher the fall before the drop, more points. Faster you reach the end, higher your score. Uh, follow the path, color the beams lay this clue. Uh, sprint and fall to reach the target. Uh, sprint make an agility to jump to reach the target. Um, sprint make an agility jump and blink to reach the target. That's green, yellow, red, respectively. No game over. So it's just as fast as you can go. Okay. Race down using drop assassinations. Uh, green light, just sprint and fall to land on the enemy. Yellow light, sprint plus agility jump, which basically means holding down the jump button. Uh, red light, sprint, agility jump, and then blink to hold down the button, to uh, take him down. And you can leave the path. Let's go! Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Instead of this guy here. Okay, so I'm almost, I'm close to the end. Okay. So from here, I have to blink over to here. Turn around. And there it is. Along with the achievement. Mrs. Hilson's remorse. Now, the one thing, uh, oh, wow, okay, um, uh, that actually should have counted, uh, for Big Boy as well. Um, let's see, complete all normal and expert with three stars, uh, get to wave 13 and back alley brawl. Killing everybody personally. Uh, complete train runner before the train arrives at the station. Um, uh, find all of the collectible figurines in Burglar on Expert. Uh, perform a drop assassination of at least 150 meters. Complete dive. Uh, let's see. Finish chain kill or bend time without failing any wave, including bonuses. Hmm. Finish mystery foe without using any active supernatural powers. 
Wow. And bonfires. Perform a special combo jump in one round. Hmm. Uh, complete assassin's run with 100% accuracy using only headshots. Okay. All that stuff is uh, nifty, neat, and not something I, I want to do. So, let's go back. Got it. And there's Emily. All right. Highest jump height was 47. Average was 19. Health and mana was 100. Okay. That sucked. But there you have it. There is Dunwall City Trials. Now, I will be uh, attempting these yet again for the three stars uh, at a later point in time. Um, obviously, on camera. Um, maybe. <sighs> but either way, uh, one day I will 100% this game, but just not, you know, today. Uh, so yeah, all I can say is, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the, uh, DLC cavalcade that I've been doing these past couple of weeks. Um, and, uh, hopefully none of it's getting boring for you as far as the 360 versions go. So yeah, again, uh, like I said in my last vlog, it's only because, uh, the summer is very slow for games to come out. And the next game I'm going for is obviously uh, Madden 17, um, so I can start up the predictions again. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I mean, it's all gravy from there. So, anyways, <sighs> I gotta say it, because I, I, I really want to get out of this, because, I mean, Dumbo City Trials, while good... As far as, you know, all 10 challenges go, I gotta say, it, it's, some of them are just hard for me. I, especially oil drop. I mean, just look at that horrid excuse for a score. It's not right. And, you know, I, I went into this thinking that I would get at least one star for each one. Second mission. Zero stars. So, yeah. Anyways. Like I said, I'm going to play these at a, a later point in time. Um, I may or may not put them, uh, put the achievements up on the channel as far as in video form. Um, so, yeah. I, I don't know. And plus with it being uh, an old game. Uh, as far as uh, 360 goes versus uh, the new definitive collection that's out on the Xbox One and PS4 right now. Plus at the same time Dishonored 2 coming out sometime this fall. Yeah, I, I would rather uh, wait and just do it all on my own time. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about it. So, anyways, again, I'm going to say it. Thank you guys for watching. And, of course, as always, happy hunting.